Hope it's a beautiful day. My beginning will be as bright as the sun. Come, won't you come along? And it feels so bright. It's like luck is raining on me. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I just came from holiday, three months in the from the Philippines, and this is what happened to my African daisies. They're all flowering. By the way, it's winter time here in the countryside of Australia and a little bit chilly in the morning. That's why I'm still wearing my winter jacket. By the way, this is Merlinda Kasapaw, your happy gardener living in the countryside of Australia. Come and join me as I fix my African daisies after a three months holiday. Look how beautiful they are. All I need to do is to deadhead and to remove some weeds. Let's do it. So let us start the job <laughs> to clean my African daisy garden. So the first thing that I will do is to remove the weeds. So I gonna remove these weeds to clear up the, the garden first. That would be my first job. So I'll have my scissors and then we'll just remove these weeds like this. So I can clear up the plant beds. So I can see the, the plant beds and see the extra weeds that I need to take off. After cleaning this, then remove the weeds inside the plant box. It's easy to, to remove the weeds because the, the soil is still soft. So, it will not take time to clean this. The only thing that will take time for me will be the deadheading because there's too many dried flowers and I need, I need to remove it one by one. Imagine one by one. That's how patient I am. <laughs> Anyway, this is a stress-free hobby for me. It takes my time. It keeps me busy. What do a retired lady will do? Continue gardening and enjoying life. Deadheading time. Take this off. It's a little bit tedious, but that's fine. I have all the time because for me it looks messy if you don't remove the dried flowers look at those birds can you hear the birds it looks messy if I don't remove the dead flowers it with the plants will look happy and there's more space for new flowers so Let's deadhead all, remove all the unwanted flowers. The plants will look happy and the gardener will also be happy. It will take days, but doesn't matter. Keeps me busy here in the countryside where all I do is to attend to my garden. I'll keep you updated. in your eyes under your spell oh it's like we've always known it even though it's new i 
I can already tell all that this feeling is taking over. Can we take our time? I wanna savor every thought on my mind of you and I getting together. African daisies now like they look beautiful they look lovely and they look happy lush and healthy then heading helps the, the plants to gain more energy to produce more flowers sometimes it's a little bit dead juice to do it because you're cutting the dried flowers one by one but that's how the how gardening is if you love gardening and it's your passion it's you don't consider it like a big job you just enjoy doing it do it little by little it's my stress reliever and whenever i see uh, blooming flowers in my garden that's happiness for me by the way this is merlinda kasapaw your happy gardener living in the countryside of australia please don't forget to like leave a comment subscribe if you're new to my channel and ring the notification bell so you get updated of what's happening here in my little garden full of flowers thank you very much bye bye see ya.